another beautiful fall day. I got myself a load of uh, bricks. About 200 or, I don't know, 220 or something. From a gentleman in the area. And I got it for about uh, 250 yeah, two dollars fifty cents a piece, about. So about a third of a of a new cost. So I like to get deals where I can. Here's the load of rocks I got the other day. I'm gonna put the bricks all over here too. Maybe right here, I'll clear out a spot. I'm gonna be using them for the. Uh, use a lot of them for my out my cellar. Whenever I get to it. And yeah, and all that dirt from digging up from the greenhouse is going to go over here. So, oh, well, we got three or four projects on the go. And I'll unload these bricks, burn a few calories. And yeah, and then they'll see what else I get into today. That's the thing with fall, as soon as you start working, it gets too hot for a jacket. So jacket on, jacket off. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. He has uh, 46 more. They're actually bigger blocks. A little bit bigger, they don't have the divide in the center for uh, bigger ones. So they're gonna go grab them too. You can never have too many blocks, right? And I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need for the cellar and a bunch for the greenhouse. Got to show you what I'm gonna be doing inside here today, too. Over at the stove here, I'm gonna put uh, cinder blocks up the side here and then put some nicer ones along the top but fill it with rocks, gravel and sand. Same with a little strip up the side here. Uh, kind of show you what I mean here. I'll turn this light on. Need a little better lighting. Okay, but anyway, you know, run some up here because the only way it, it heats when it gets pretty good, going pretty good in the winter or cool weather, this board gets kind of hotter than I like it. So I'm going to put a, a strip of uh, blocks up here and a strip of blocks up here or a wall, firewall basically, because this stove gets too hot too for my liking. So then it'll be enclosed. When it heats up, it'll heat up the thermal mass. And uh, and plus the water is a good thermal mass. Water is actually the best type of thermal mass once you warm it up. Then it'll dissipate the heat overnight. Because so I was gone all day, and it's still 20, about 22 in here Celsius. I haven't had anything going for probably five hours. 22 in here. And it's like uh, 15 outside. So it's working good. But I've got to get those bricks unloaded and then I'll uh, proceed with building this in. Try and want to get that done today.
Okay, this is kind of what I got in mind here. Got them stacked up. I use the half half blocks, half cinder blocks. And then we're just gonna line it with some nicer ones on top. I gotta clean them up a bit. And this side, got all the way up. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of uh, mass here to heat. You got the two rocks on the back there. So these are topped, but I'm gonna take them off tomorrow. Kind of take it apart and fill it with gravel and sand. And it should be, uh, it's gonna probably have to run the stove like half the time. But uh, carry on tomorrow uh, and show you how when the finished product and light a fire. I'm gonna get some gravel from my gravel pile here. It's kind of growing in a bit, but uh, still a lot of good gravel in there and sand. Use that to fill up my uh, blocks for the thermal mass in the cabin. Yeah, I'm just going to sort, uh, sift out this gravel and sand just to get any sticks and stuff. I don't really want much for hydrocarbons in with it. So just the gravel and sand would be perfecto. So I'll sift that out and then I'll get it into my blocks. There we go for this column. Took about five gallons. Put these back on just for a little, little more, look a little nicer, and actually give it a little more thermal mass also. There we go, that's going nowhere, and right full of gravel and sand. Now I gotta move on to this one. Okay, it's all filled up. 
I changed the design slightly, but I think that looks better. Just drying some herbs here. Then I'm going to put the water tank back on. And I forgot to mention also, well, I've mentioned it before, but there's 45 gallons up here also. This is my gravity feed. So that also warms up, which holds uh, energy and then releases at night. And then also in the back room, we got a 150 gallon tank, which also warms out throughout the day. I have already noticed, even uh, before I put the dirt and gravel in last night, uh, with those bricks heating up, if the fire goes out, you know, around midnight or two in the morning, it easily keeps the cabin warm till I get up around seven or eight. So it's definitely going to help and save on wood. Thermal mass. You ever hear of it? Do you have it happening in your uh, cabin or your off-grid property? Let me know. Canadian Dreamer, out. Take shit, I got no love for the fakes. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't have a slow.